in last video uh, we were discussing the lesson three questions uh, written by Leo Tolstoy we have uh, discussed in brief about the author about this particular story and we have started some portion of the story and we have seen that there was king and he uh, wanted to know the answer of his three questions these three questions were he always wanted to know the right time to begin anything uh, the most important person in his life and the most important thing in this world to perform so he proclaimed that anybody uh, from his kingdom or other side would answer his questions he will give him the great reward there were a lot of learned men they came and tried to give the answer to the questions of king but the answer of every person were different so he was not satisfied with the answer given by the learned men and that's why he decided to, to consult the hermit who was living uh, in the forest in the jungle so he decided to consult a hermit widely renowned for his wisdom the hermit lived in a wood which he never quitted he received none but common folk so the king put on simple clothes and before reaching the hermit's cell dismounted from his horse and leaving his bodyguard behind and went alone in this particular paragraph we come to know some uh, qualities of that particular hermit because hermit is a person who wants to live in forest to meditate he just throw off all the luxurious life and wanted to live his life in the forest without any luxury that's why he is not eager or he don't want to get some wealth from the will from the king from any wealthier person that's why he that particular hermit thinks that there is need of his wisdom to the common folk not to the king or any person maybe there uh, maybe the need of his knowledge to the king and other wealthier person but that particular hermit always thinks that he is hermit and never try to get any type of help from the wealthier person that's why he always wanted if anybody wants to meet him that particular person must be common folk if there is any king or any uh, knight or any the king, that particular hermit would not allow that particular person to meet him that's why king knew all that thing that's why he just uh, we can say try to seem like the common folk that's why he put on the single clothes before reaching the hermit cell dismounted from his horse horse generally kings use horse to travel but as that hermit's demand was that he only can consult the common folk and generally common folk uh any common folk doesn't have horse to travel so that's why king thinks that if i uh, go on the the horse to the hermit horse but hermit will not allow me to get in that's why he dismounted from his horse dismounted means he just leave the horse and just go goes there without horse and leaving his bodyguard behind and went on alone this is the qualities of common man generally any common man doesn't have any fear of any enemies that's why he doesn't carry any bodyguard around him he doesn't want 
any hours to travel because he generally uh, travel anywhere on his foot or other uh, means at that time there was only uh, um, used to be the pedestrian that's why that these are the common um, uh, qualities of the common man that uh, that particular king wanted to show in front of that hermit because that hermit uh, should uh, allow that king to come in the hut because we also come across here the one another thing if we wanted to get knowledge of any person from any person or from anything we have to be first as common people common man without having any uh, proud without having any the showiness this is also another thing that generally uh, real hermit or real wise man is not attracted to your field uh, to attracted towards your showiness that's why if you want to get the knowledge from any that type of person you must be uh, the cow like the common man you must show yourself like common man you must present yourself like common man that's why king went there without his bodyguard without his horse without any showiness without any crown or anything just he went there as being the common man to get the knowledge of that particular from that particular hermit so when king approached the hermit was digging the ground in front of his hut and there is hut hut you know very well it is uh, uh, made up of uh, some uh, mud and um, we can say woods from the jungle and that hut in that hut the hermit was living and king approached there and what was that hermit doing he was digging the ground in front of his hut digging the ground means he just wanted to make bed of uh, that earth bed of earth to show some seeds or get some crops from that you know, vegetables or other things from that bed that's why he was digging the ground seeing the king he greeted him and went out digging that's just king approached there he was in front of that king uh, in front of that hermit and hermit was digging the ground and king approached there and as that hermit saw the king he greeted him and went on digging uh, this is the qualities of any uh, such as uh, wise person we can say religious person they uh, never uh, consider any person never judge any person um, on the basis of his their uh, wealth on the basis of their showiness on the basis of their just they wanted to uh, uh, in their eyes each and every person uh, in this whole world is the same though he may be king or though he may be the knight or though he may be the poor or though he may be the common man each and every person in the eyes of hermit are same that's why he just he did that hermit uh, didn't give extra importance to that king at Uh, that king has arrived here i have to bow in front of him and uh, do some uh, favorable things for king no no uh, such type of action didn't happen uh, from the hermit and he just uh, greeted him as the uh, general uh, we can say gesture we generally uh, show he just greeted him and went to went on digging the hermit was frail and weak he was uh, might be the older person old person that's why he is frail and weak and each time he stuck his spade spade means you know this is the instrument to dig the ground he stuck his spade into the ground and turned the little earth and he breathed heavily because he breathed heavily means he was the weak and frail person he may be the old person that's why he though he may be the old or weak person but he is doing his work as possible as he can that's why when he struck the uh, his uh, spade in the into the uh, that earth and he get little earth from and breathe heavily the the king went up to him and said i have come to you wise hermit to ask you to answer the three questions what were that three questions how can i learn to do the right thing at the right time who are the people i most need to whom should i therefore pay more attention and than the rest 
and what appears are the most important and need my first attention these are the three questions that king always wanted the answer so the the the, the overall situation in that um, the that particular atmosphere there is hermit he is digging the ground and king approached there and he wanted to get the answer out to these three questions he just uh, went there and asked hermit to give the answer to his three questions and he just put forward his three questions in front of uh, that hermit but hermit is very um, busy in digging the ground that's why hermit listened to the king but answer nothing he just hermit listened to the all three questions put forward by the king but answer nothing he just spat on his hand and recommenced the digging just spat on his hand just just we are uh, doing anything if uh, that uh, particular um, instrument becomes slippery we just spat on our hand and try to uh, grip uh, that particular instrument uh, tightly to dig the ground in the same way he spat on his hand and recommenced recommence means restart the digging you are tired said the king and let me take the spade and work while for you and just he had put forward his questions in front of hermit but he remained hermit uh, didn't answer anything uh, he was uh, standing there looking at uh, the work of that particular hermit but uh, hermit wouldn't answer him that's why he thought at that time i should also do some work for the hermit uh, that may create some a positiveness in the mind of hermit and he will he would give me some answers that's why he asked hermit to uh, let him do some work for him thanks said the hermit and give the spade to the king and he sat down on the ground and that hermit also um, let the king do some work and he gave his speed uh, spade to the king and sat on the ground when he had dug two beds as king was young and very um, having more, much more strength he just uh, had dug two beds and king stopped and repeat his questions the hermit again gave no answer but rose and stretched out his hand for the spade and said now rest a while let me work a bit and this was the answer of hermit not to the questions of the king but he just responds to the king as the king had uh, dug almost two bed and hermit thought that he might have been tired that's why he offer or he just uh, ask him now rest a while and let me work a bit but the king did not give him give him the spade and continue to dig one hour passed another the sun began to sink behind the trees behind the trees and the king at last stuck the bed into the ground and said i came to you wise man for an answer to my questions if you can give me none tell me so and i will return home so king just work all over the day but uh, hermit wouldn't answer him that's why he um, then there is night we can say evening but the <clears throat> he had dug two bed king stop and repeated his question the hermit again gave no answer but rose and stretched out his hand for the spade and said now rest a while and let me work a bit but king wouldn't allow that hermit to work but the king did not give him a spade and continue to dig one hour passed another hour passed and ultimately the sun began to sink behind the trees mid it's becoming evening and the king at last stuck the bed into the ground and said and almost tired almost tired by digging tired by waiting for the answer he was tired by digging this is another thing he also was eagerly waiting to the answer from the hermit but hermit didn't give their answer that's why he was tired by digging as well as tired by waiting to answer he ultimately stuck the bed stuck the spade into the ground and said and he just become angry because he hadn't have um, uh, got 
any questions answer to his question from the hermit he he had work all over the days but king that hermit was not ready to give the answer to the questions of the king that's why he's t- being tired ultimately asked the hermit i came to you wise man for an answer to my questions and you can give me none let me so tell me so i will return home and uh, getting tired getting angry with waiting he just ultimately asked the hermit if you are not able to give the answer to my questions so tell me so i will return to my home this was the last um, reaction of the king to ask that hermit so dear student ultimately what happens after that we will discuss in uh, next video thank you